a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. Good morning. Last day here in chilly Chicago. I know Chicago is called Windy City, not because it's it's windy, but it should be because it's windy and cold. And oh my God, that's terrifying. Huh. Ever since I stopped trick or treating like a couple of years ago, I just don't remember when Halloween is. Anyway, our TV production shoot is moving down to Miami. So the next four cities is gonna be pretty, well, not San Francisco, but we'll be going to Miami, Vegas, LA. So, oh, finally. By tomorrow, it's gonna be the complete opposite. Sweaty and tons of humidity. But before leaving Chicago, one final meal. Um, the hotel I'm staying at is really close to this little Vietnamese community. But in the morning, in this cold weather, it's the greatest thing on the planet. That doesn't rhyme, sorry. Oh, this place said it was open at night. Yo lies, man. Anyway, can you hear? Opens at 10. I'll be on a plane. There's another foot place I saw open sign. Hopefully it's good. What? How is this not open lead? Nothing. It this is like my ultimate food nightmare. Anybody else know that sriracha has zero calories? You could just literally eat this instead of food. Right, die excruciating death, but at least you'd be thin. Yeah. All the top foot places is closed. This soup looks a little cloudy. It's good though. You figure in like a little Saigon type area. Even the lesser good club places will still be pretty good. Well, that first few sips of pho just kind of liquid just like runs through your blood. Noodles are perfect. Meat tender. Ah, oh, that soup is deep. That's great too. It's gonna make the next 10 minutes walking in the cold so much more tolerable. Amazing. Again, another city with much better fun than New York. Keep the list going. Whew. Cold ain't got nothing on me now. But it doesn't just taste good, it's about how you feel afterwards. You feel like you can walk through the Arctic with just a sweater. I gotta come for another one of these. I also got another one of these basil seeds and pandan jelly. I'm kind of negating the warmth of my pho, but one last time. I'm gonna miss this. Maybe more than a pho. Let me try to find some of this stuff huh? back in Seattle. Vietnamese yogurt, marvelous. Probably some of the best yogurt I've ever had. I like it even more than I like Chinese yogurt. And that I love. Welcome to Miami. Been filming for the show all day and just wrapped up. When you're in Miami, there's a couple things you gotta eat. One is a Cubano, 100%, and then there's stone crab, and it just became stone crab season. I'm in this like middle of nowhere strip mall place. Fresh call company fish. Fresh company fish. Yeah, that's a fresh fish. Whole fry snapper to perfection. That looks great. They don't have stone crab anymore. But they have grilled octopus. Who? What's your name? Kiara. 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 Yeah. Kiara said it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it is. And I trust her. She she looks like she's trustworthy. Two 
ginormous octopus tentacles, shrimp, mussels, squid. Oh. Oh my god. Let's sauce out of this world. You can taste the Old Bay seasoning, the spices. I always love eating sea monsters. Mm. That's phenomenal. Really, perfectly tender, smoky grilled octopus. Just sauces everything. I'm just going to like rub it all over my face. I know that would burn. Might be worth it though. I'm glad they give you a little bit of uh, pickled onions and tomatoes. Kind of like a little refresher for your mouth and taste buds. It's really hard to cook squid well because if you mess it up by just a little bit, it turns into a rubber band. And that, uh, that's as tender as they come. Everything is just crazy fresh. Everything. The only thing I would have made this better is if I had a side of stone crab. <laughs> With that aside, this is such a satisfying, rich, rustic, spicy, and neat plate of seafood. You never see seafood cooked like this. Usually it's like always fried or maybe boiled or steamed. This two monster rigs of an octopus cooked in this awesome, rich, spicy, aromatic sauce. Mm, truly unique. It really doesn't get much better than this. Ah, oh, amazing. If you don't know, key lime pie is made with key limes, which are really only found in South Florida. If you see a key lime pie that's green, that's made with actual like grocery store lime, not real key lime. Key lime, it's gonna be a little yellow, just like this. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's smooth. You can taste that great little sweet tart flavor of the lime. Nice crumbly crush. You wanna take a bite? The lips are definitely puckering. So deliciously tart, marvelous place. Come check it out. Okay, didn't get a chance to vlog a lot because we're, we've been filming the show until pretty late. It's about nine o'clock, it's my last night in Miami. I'm only here for a couple of days. I'm flying to Las Vegas tomorrow morning. I wanted to eat at so many different places I didn't get to on this trip. And one thing I really wanted to eat was the stone crab because it is stone crab season right now. So my last hope is the steakhouse. Oh, I hope they'll let me in because they're, they close in like 20 minutes. Never too late to grab some crab. Right? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I love her. I do. First time I had stone crab, four or five years ago, changed my life. Some of the sweetest crab meat you'll ever eat. With that mustard sauce, life-changing experience. What I love about stone crab, not only is it delicious, ew, what happens is, the claws are cut off one at a time and the crab is left with one other claw to kind of defend themselves and by the next year, the other claw grows back. Endless claw. And this thing, is just all meat. Mm. Sweetest crab meat you will ever put in your mouth. But, that mustard sauce. I almost like it as much as I love the crab. Creamy, got that nice kick to it. Mm. These things are not cheap, but oh my God. If you can, and you're in Miami or South Florida, you gotta get one of these. Actually, you probably can't stop at one. You gotta get a bunch of these. It's too good. Must get food at them anywhere in South Florida. Really sucks I didn't get to see Miami more. I've been wanting to go to the Florida Keys for so long. Never had the chance. I'll be back. So pretty, right? See you in the morning. Check this out. Actually, I have to put on a jacket for Las Vegas because 
It's like 60 degrees. Vegas is gonna be so fun in jacket weather. But before we go, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. If you guys don't know, Surfshark is a VPN service and if you don't have a VPN service right now, you really do need one. And I'm not saying that because they're my sponsor. You do need a VPN service, especially if you travel around a lot. Let me tell you why. Basically, Surfshark, what it does is that it encrypts your data when it's going out and when it's coming into all your devices so that no one can see what you're doing online. And in this day and age of data theft and stolen identities, that's invaluable. You gotta keep your data safe. You know what I'm talking about? Once you Google search anything, you start seeing ads for whatever you search for start popping up all over the place. That's basically people using your data against you. If you go through different countries' servers, you will actually find cheaper airfares because airfares are priced different by countries. Crazy. You can access certain entertainment sites overseas that you wouldn't do without a VPN service. And this is the reason why I started using Surfshark a long time ago. You can actually get different uh, video catalogs, different video libraries. Anyway, if you want to give it a try, the link is down below where you can go to surfshark.deal slash Mikey Chen and use my promo code Mikey Chen for 83% off and an extra month for free. And just by clicking that link, you'll be supporting this channel. So thank you so much. Thank you. Love you. Let's go to Vegas. I think I have about 15 extra minutes before I have to go to the airport, so let's see if we can uh, get one more thing. This is one of the greatest breakfast sandwiches. I was filming it for the, the TV show I'm filming, View and Chew. So the sandwich gotta come and I gotta finish it all, 10 minutes, gotta head to the airport. So you can get any type of egg you want. I got a fried egg. It's already smashed and drippy a little bit. I'm not very happy about that. And on the bottom, it's smoked brisket. It's just incredible pickled onions and some garlic aioli. Look at this. This is what I wanted before I get to the airport. A little hot sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so amazing. Egg is cooked perfectly. It's one of those bite and suck kind of foods, you know? <coughs> There's so much juice in here. All right, I gotta call Uber right now. I can finish this in like less than a minute. This has become one of my favorite things in Miami. Airport is so long. I'm surprised I'm not at Vegas right now. Making a pit stop here in Dallas. One of my favorite places for all you can eat meat, Austin, Texas, Salt Lake is here. I know it's probably not the most ideal place to get this barbecue, but I'm starving. My plane's delayed. I can only just cross my fingers that this is half as good as it is in Austin. Looks like super dry pulled pork. That was tougher to swallow than the plot of Aquaman. Ah, it's so dry. The only good thing about it, it's really smoky. That was almost equally sucky coleslaw. Smoked sausages. Finally, redeeming factor. That's very moist. A lot of people hate that word, moist. I don't have good feelings about this brisket. It tastes drier than the city I'm about to fly into. Let's try to get a little wet. Oh, this is by far the worst brisket I've ever had in Texas. Scratch that. That's the worst brisket I've ever had. I mean, I know Salt Lake is good. I've been there before. I'm going back. And this is kind of what I expected out of airport barbecue. Redeeming factor. Really good. Glad I got that. All right, quick meal. More food in Vegas. I'm always so happy to land here, the simply good food city. This is a very personal check-in experience. That was the most 
soulless check-in experience I've ever had in Vegas, but at least the view is nice. And that is where I'm going to eat dinner tonight. Win Buffet. Just finished my review of the win. The Wim Buffet. I keep thinking I'm, I'm at the fucking house, my favorite. The Wim Buffet. Review for the win is done. It's gonna be on the Strictly Dumpling channel. Probably not when this video comes out, but it'll be it'll be there. I haven't been here in like four years. It's actually my favorite time to come to Vegas. You know, jacket weather when this place isn't overly populated and just be able to walk around without getting a heat stroke. It's beautiful. Just walking around, it's so much fun looking at the casinos, just looking at the different things on the strip, finding cool things to eat. One thing I hate about Vegas, I feel like I've been walking for like 30 minutes already. Guess how far I am from the wind? It's about 7 a.m. in the morning, and another reason I love Vegas is basically anytime you want any particular kinds of food, you can probably find it. Like, I kind of want a Korean barbecue all you can eat buffet. Boom! Ginseng barbecue. Open 24 hours a day. Usually you can find Korean barbecue that's open 24 hours a day, but it's not a buffet. Does nobody else want Korean barbecue at 7 o'clock in the morning? Or are other people missing out? Men want two person for the buffet? Yeah. Not this one buffet, so we're okay. This is when it's helpful to have physical friends. Now I'm hungry and depressed. I was really looking forward to that. I was like, huh, I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning at really early when I'm jet lagged and I can just go and have some Korean barbecue buffet. And I can start my day feeling all happy and stuff. Across the street, there's a fat burger. I'll take a burger at 7 a.m. Fat burger will do. That is colossally massive. This is a half pound patty. Oh my god, this burger, horrible. It reminds me of the burgers I had in middle school. They're so dry. I mean, I get that we're in Vegas. It's a pretty dry area, but that was like me trying to find water on Mars. It's hard. I don't know what I did to make the food gods upset, but they are punishing me this morning. Luckily, I'm starving. Otherwise, this would be really hard to swallow. Let's hope our luck changes because I can't go a full day like this. Now it's just a chilly walk back to the hotel. The world's greatest hot sandwich. Open 20. A statement like that cannot go unverified. Whoa, Earl of Sandwich. World's greatest hot sandwich. Here's the sandwich. Is this like a British chain? I'm not really sure. Not a huge size sandwich. So I got the original. This is the roast beef, horse radish, and cheese. Okay, I can already smell the bread. It is fresh. This is fresh bread they're using. Let's see if this is the greatest sandwich in the world. I don't know if this is the greatest sandwich in the world because I still contend the greatest sandwich in the world is in Florence, Italy, but this is fantastic. What a turn of event from the crappy food morning I've been having. Mm. This roast beef is butter. You don't have to chew it if you choose not to. Oh my God. This might be the best sliced roast beef I've ever had inside a sandwich. Mm. Bread is perfect. Toasty, soft, cheese is good, horseradish. I could use a little more because I like a little more spice. But that roast beef. And this is actually, I would say this is a good value. This will fill you up and it's a delicious sandwich. About $7. On the other hand, that burger that tasted like a bite of desert was like 12 bucks or something. And it's open 24 hours a day. I mean, I don't drink, but I'm sure a lot of you guys should come to Vegas 2 o'clock in the morning. It might be a little wobbly. This will sober you up. I assume this is good hangover food. Mm. I'll definitely be back to try their best seller, the chicken avocado. Great save. About to start our first day of shoot in Vegas. 
in this hotel room <laughs> in the wild wild west wild. we're not shooting something shady it's wild cramped <laughs> <laughs> motel room this is a family show this is this is a very family show. <laughs> this is a family yeah, there's nothing shady going on here i promise <laughs> little olive off the strip in vegas can't eat this though you gotta, they gotta process first i mean you can but they'll be bitter I don't want it. It looks so pretty. Yo, Stephanie, my my okay. taste of olive. Do you want to know what an olive cake fresh olive tree tastes like? You're gonna do it? Don't do it. Oh, oh. oh. Yep, yep. That's <laughs> the worst thing I've ever tasted in my entire. It kind of stings. Like my it's tongue bitter, is right? stinging. Oh, it's, you gotta spit it. It's you spit god it out? awful. <laughs> the worst thing I've ever tried in my entire life. Don't do it, kids. Wow. I did it for you. Now you know. You don't have to try it for yourself. Gross. It's awful. As much as the Asian side of me wants free olives. Not, not from a tree. Many times in Vegas, never been to Fremont. The infamous Heart Attack Grill. So if you weigh over 300 pounds or something like that, it's free, you eat for free. I guess it's convenient for when they take you to the hospital. Did you know you can come here not only for fatty, greasy food and a possible heart attack, you can also trade cryptocurrency. Inside, 350 pounds eat free. You're gonna weigh yourself? Oh, you weigh yourself here. Oh my God, this is like, this is a huge, unnecessarily huge scale. Oh my goodness. I'm going zip lining. <coughs> Sorry. Close, excited, I haven't wanted to do that for years. That's what it looks like when it's recording. Zip lining. <laughs> Stephanie's making me pretty. You're already pretty, buddy. Gorgeous. This is a restrictive zip lines. You know how the Ninja Turtles have like their weapons strap and whatever? I feel like there's something on my back. Like, but there's really kind of not, but there is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I need like a sword or a bow staff or something. place we're filming tonight. We're back at Sean Noodle. You guys, you guys hungry for noodles? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's probably my favorite noodle place in Vegas. The dandan noodle and the knife cut noodles this time. Classic beef noodles. And the stir fried knife cut noodles. Oh. There's nothing more satisfying and comforting than great ball of beef noodle soup in this place. Like, if you saw my video on Strictly Dumpling, I love this place. One of my favorite places in the U.S. for classic Chinese beef noodles. Mm. Like this stuff, the dal xiao mian, the knife cut noodles, created as a dandan noodle. It's so saucy and peppery and spicy, and the texture is insane because it hasn't touched any broth. And these guys are having it for the first time. Of all the foods I have in the world, Chinese noodles and Chinese dumplings, this is home. 
Stephanie trying to hand cut noodle for the first time in her life. <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing, buddy? I'm so bad at using chopsticks. Oh, you're exposing me. <laughs> wow, these are really, really thick. Mm, yeah. I love it. Yo, eat those with some noodles, bro. This is so painful. Why am I doing this to myself? Here, here, Stephanie, eat these. These are... Less painful? These are no spice. Mmm. How's that, Christian? Best noodles you ever had? It's delicious. Which one is this? This is a knife cut. Ooh, I'm glad I got this. Yeah, mm. right? Okay, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. Is it? What is that sweetness? It's oyster sauce. Oh my gosh, that is really good. Very good. Mm. What is that? I One time, in hot oil. What's inside of it? Pork. Hmm. Do right. I have another one? Yeah, yeah, eat as many as you want. So happy to be here for the first time. Yeah. Life changing. I think this is a very much so life changing experiment. Mm -hmm. Experience. When your soul is warm, you don't need a jacket. That's good because I have a pretty cold soul, so I should probably do some soul warming. She does. She doesn't like the fans. <laughs> what kind of a person am what I? What kind of sociopath are you? <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> Oh, they're like buffets. Yeah, I, Who doesn't like buffets, right? It must have a cold soul. Right. <laughs> Gotta eat more spicy food. I'm a nicer yeah, person. Yeah, warm your, warm your soul up a bit. Get oh, some more hot oil. What do you guys think? First Chinese noodle experience? This is amazing. Yeah? Life changing. Life changing. Unreal. 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 Good? Good? This should be so good. Yeah, go get yourself some. <laughs>